Right, mailbag time. Got a whole bunch of stuff here to go through. Let's see what's here. Hmm. This is smaller than I thought it was going to be, but that's fine. It, as long as it works, it's fine. So this is a USB 3 um, hub, basically. So it's got a four port hub with a uh, standard USB system. So this is this is hopefully something I'm going to use on my camera setup. So I've got well limited number of USB ports on a computer, like most people do, and all of mine are basically full up. So I'm hoping I can actually use this on my cameras and free some ports up and have all my cameras plugged into this one dongle, hopefully. And hopefully it doesn't mess up the bitrate, stuff like that. I can try it out and see if it works. But um, then I can have all my cameras going through one connection. And then when I'm finished live streaming or whatever, I can just unplug it and power the cameras down. So I've just got one connection instead of having to unplug lots of cameras. And hopefully it'll free up a bunch of USB ports at the same time. That's the plan. In this one. Oh, come on. This looks suspiciously like a power supply. It definitely does look like a power supply. So, when I did my last live stream, I had an issue with my power supply for my ambient lighting on the background like the little, little light show I have going in the background anyway because I changed it because the one I normally use I actually put outside as Christmas lights and so I had to make another one and the power supply head was really noisy and ended up doing a modification during the live stream to uh, use a different power supply instead of voltage down so um, it would be quiet and that's what made me think actually I need to get some more of these power supplies because I didn't actually have one which I could use this is a 5 volt power supply so this is a mean well 5 volt 10 amp power supply. Now, Meanwhile, is actually a good brand, so I trust them. They've been, you know, they're known for being quite good. So I've got a 5 volt power supply, which can do 10 amps max. Dead row mount. And um, I can go in my drawer with all my other power supplies until the day I actually need to use it. There are links down below for these things too, don't forget that. I have to make sure you can see that. That was what I was expecting, okay. So these are some USB 3 extensions. I've got these to go with this thing, because I've got USB 3 ports on the back of my computer because I've got some extension cards on there, the PCI slots. My computer's 2010, doesn't have USB 3 by default, so I had to add a card to do that. So I needed extensions to be able to reach this, to put this somewhere where I can reach it for doing the cameras and stuff easily. So. Just two extensions, I think it's about one half meters or one meter and fifty centimeters, something like that. There'll be links down below for these things. <laughs> My old cat, she's about nineteen now. does the exact opposite of what you want her to do and I can't make squishy noise because she's <coughs> deaf <laughs> we'll put her down on the floor now right. there we are. So this is another USB 3 hub. This is a 6 port. Although this one has a much cheaper feel to it. This has got a nice feel to it. This, seems, this feels like a quality unit, right? This feels like a quality thing. Um, this doesn't feel so quality. The, it's, the plastic feels a bit cheap. But it's got 7 ports. What was I thinking it had 6? Anyway, it's got 7 ports on it. So if this one isn't enough, I can use this one, assuming it actually works okay. If they work okay, I'll, I'll put links in down below in the description for each of these. If they don't work okay, I won't because I don't want you buying something which doesn't work. Now I'm suspecting this one's got multiple packages in it, so I may have to stop 
Oh no, it's just the one thing. Excellent. Well packaged, I get that much. Surprised how big the package is actually. So my wife's been having problems with her dash cam. <laughs> Good packaging, but look at this, it's already squashed and um, it keeps on cutting out. So I bought her another one for her birthday. Early birthday present. And this is a constant power adapter thing. So you can hook this up to your car, constant power. You actually wire it into the electrical wiring of the car. And so you're using a cigarette light socket. And this will then maintain power constantly to this thing. And this will then go into like a parking mode. So if something hits it or something like that whilst it's parked up in a supermarket or whatever, you might capture video of the person if you're lucky. So I might wire that in as well because her car is actually, I know where the wiring is, so it's probably fairly easy to do. So I'm actually looking at doing this, permanently power it up and let it use its parking mode. So let's see what we've got here. Big box, there's even more underneath. Massive long USB cable and a shorter cable. Sticky stuff mounted onto the screen. There's a 128 gigabyte SD card in there. Another USB cable. Cleaning cloth thing and a little budget. Okay. So you can panels so you can get the panels off so you can run your cables through. Okay. It's quite comprehensive. There's a mount. Oh no, that's not the mount. That's the camera. Well, wow. what's this one? Well, one of the cameras anyway. So this is a camera here, and so is this one. This has got two cameras. SD card goes in there. This is the bracket. So that you stick that on the windscreen. This and then attaches to that, which will be you know something like that, that kind of angle. And then you've got your camera here, which you can adjust. That's nice. And it gives you controls in your little screen there, which should all be visible fine from inside the car. Power button on the side. So that should be fairly accessible, hopefully, being along the windscreen like that, maybe. Might not be too bad. That's to make sure I don't have enough, uh, got enough clearance above the top to make sure we can get the thing in and out easy enough. So I might have to read the instructions for this, but that's looking pretty good. It's got a USB cable there as well to link these two together. So I'm guessing that. This long cable here is for like a rear camera. Yes, yeah, so the long one must be going right through the car to go to the rear. This is a rear mounted camera, which will probably plug into here, I'm guessing. And that's your main power supply coming in here. That's for my wife's birthday, which is coming up soon. Shh, don't tell her. And this is the wiring kit which goes in there. So basically that's constant power. So you put in your 12 to 24 volts apparently. And you'll output 5 volts at 2.1 amps. And it's also got low voltage protection as well, so if it drains your car battery too much from being on, it will actually uh, cut itself off. 12 volts to 7.8 volts or so. Mm, not sure about that part of it, but um, that's the only worry about having something like this as a constant drain on the battery. But if you're using a car, you know, almost every day, it shouldn't actually matter, to be honest. It should be able to handle it just fine. I'm going to get it back in the bag. Alright, next thing. This is rattling around a bit, so I've got an idea what's in here. There could be a couple of things. Right. A whole bunch of large-ish crimps. Different sizes. And a crimp tool. Now I already have smaller crimp tools just like most people do. I've also got this massive one which is about three foot long. But I needed something kind of in between the two. So now we've got this one. And this does hex crimps. Alright, so basically you have to hit it like this and is that as high as I can go here? Yeah. And then you just grip it down and that will do different sizes. This is actually pushing quite a lot of pressure on there. So there's different sizes you can do which you select on these by turning them. I think you can push it in and turn it. Yeah, there we go. 10, 35, 25, 16, 50, 
and the six is the original one there. So I'm guessing these are based on the millimeter squared area of the cables. So there you go, it's 50s. Nice. Yeah, there you go. Actually, says it right here: six millimeter squared to fifty millimeter squared. And also here are the actual crimps. I won't get out of the bag. I'll leave it there. So I've got a few smaller ones here, up to the larger ones. So I actually use some of what size? This size? Was it this size? Maybe this size recently. And um, I realised actually I need to get some more because I was getting really low on them. I was, I've been sort of making do with other crimps and sort of kind of making things work. I thought, let's get a proper crimper. I'm sick of this messing around with these kinds of terminals. Um, let's just get a bigger crimper for it. So I've got a really big one, like I said, to do massive terminals, like even bigger than these. And it does do this size as well, but it's a huge thing. Now I've got a medium sized one. Excellent. And keeping with the tools theme, I think I know what's in here already because it's from Bunnings, so it gives it away a little bit to me. If I get through the tape, I can show you exactly what's in it. Impact drivers, hexagonal set, which go from 5mm up to 19mm. So I've got that impact driver recently for Christmas, which my wife bought me. I did a little video on the charger and the flashing LEDs which go out of sync because they're not actually set to the pulse at the same time which drove me nuts. Anyway, so a metric set. So there's something I'll actually want to pull apart and maybe do a video on and it uses hexagonal bolts and so I needed drivers for that and I mean I could use Allen keys and, and do it that way but what's the fun? I want to use my impact driver. I bought a set of bits to use with it and it's on a rail so I can mount this on a wall or something like that and then I'm just having right there. So I'll be doing a video on that thing soon. I expect. Check the other videos out down below there. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Patreon support link over there if you want to help support the channel. Help me to buy more things from our bag. And watch more videos.